Turning now to the war in Israel. Israeli forces pushing deeper into southern Gaza as the humanitarian crisis there worsens. Yeah, tens of thousands of civilians have now fled toward the border with Egypt. And according to Gaza's health ministry, more than 17,000 Palestinians have died since this war began. Israel, meantime, says they're opening a second crossing to inspect cargo entering Gaza, and they say they're prepared to fight for months or even longer to defeat Hamas. And here at home, there is more scrutiny over anti-Semitism on college campuses. All right, Fox Live's Linda Schmidt joins us now in studio. And Linda, this comes after that controversial hearing on Capitol Hill last week with the presidents of three top schools. Yeah, good evening, first of all, to both of you. And that testimony rocked a lot of people. The pressure is mounting again today for Harvard and MIT to fire their university presidents. And it follows the resignation over the weekend of the president at the University of Pennsylvania. So the answer is yes, that calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard code of conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. It was exchanges like this with the president of Harvard, as well as the presidents of the University of Pennsylvania and MIT, that launched a firestorm of backlash. In a congressional hearing, all three failed to clearly denounce anti-Semitism and the calls for genocide of Jewish people on their college campuses. Over the weekend, UPenn president Liz McGill was forced to resign. But later on X, which is formerly known as Twitter, she tried to explain her comments. I want to be clear. A call for genocide of Jewish people is threatening. Deeply so. But it was not enough to save her job, especially after one donor threatened to pull $100 million. In an interview with Harvard's newspaper, President Gay offered an apology. Hundreds of Harvard faculty have come to her defense signing a letter of support. But some donors and members of Congress on both sides of the aisle are outraged. I found the answers of the university presidents um, honestly, to, to not be acceptable answers of, of leaders of any institution. Any college president in this country who cannot condemn anti-Semitism, cannot condemn Jewish genocide, they need to resign or be fired. Governor Hochul has put the presidents of colleges and universities across the state on notice. She issued a letter last week saying that calls for genocide of Jewish people violates New York state law as well as federal law, and the state will enforce those laws. And also tonight, the highest governing body at Harvard? Well, that body was scheduled to meet today. The group, by the way, has not issued a public statement since that hearing last week. Steve, uh, Teresa, back over to you. All right, Linda, thank you.